Welcome back to Infosphere's YouTube channel. Hello everyone, and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to color grade any image with a cinematic look using a gradient map. Let's get started. Go to the window menu and open the swatches panel. Adjust the swatches panel to match your image. Add a gradient map adjustment layer to your project. Click on the black and white gradient area to open the gradient editor. Select the black color slider and click on color. Choose any color you'd like. For this tutorial, I'll use three colors. First, select the color and note its brightness value. For example, the brightness value might be 81. Click OK and set the same brightness value for the location. Repeat the same process for the second color slider. To add a new slider, click between the two existing sliders and repeat the same process. Once you're done, hit OK to close the gradient editor. Adjust the blend mode. Select the gradient map adjustment layer. Change the blend mode from normal to soft light. Take a moment to observe the before and after results. You'll notice a significant difference. Add a vibrance layer. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and select Vibrance. Adjust the vibrance and saturation to suit your image. Close the panel once you're satisfied with the result. Replace the Sky Optional. If the sky in your image doesn't match the new color grade, here's how to change it. Duplicate the background layer or dragging and dropping it. Rename the duplicate layer to sky. Use the quick selection brush to select the sky. Invert the selection by going to select greater than inverse. Click on select and mask and refine the edges, increase the radius to 3 pixels, adjust settings as needed, and hit OK. Delete the sky layer since we no longer need it. Add the new sky. Open your chosen sky image and duplicate its background layer. Copy this layer and paste it into your color graded project. Drag the sky layer above the background layer and use the move tool to adjust its position. Now, compare the before and after results you'll see how much the new sky enhances the image. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more amazing tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.